thank you guys thank you for joining uh, today we are going to discuss our python lab assignment uh, so which is done by prashant piyush and punit as a group assignment and today's agenda is first we need we are going to understand the problem statement and then we discuss the solution approach we have uh, come up with and then we also discuss the python implementation of same and we will discuss conclusion and comments which were provided by us so we uh, today uh, we are first uh, the what the problem statement which was provided to solve to us so the problem statement is uh, we we have a given list which is having which contain positive and negative integers and uh, you need to find two elements such that their sum is closest to zero. So in, in now you can see in the example, so we you have a list minus four, seven, six, two, five, minus five, and uh, each and every individual element and two elements are you know getting sum, and the output should be those element which is having sum closest to zero. So here minus five comma six are those L2 element which is having a sum near to zero. So we uh, the assignment having two test cases, test case one and test case two, and these are the sample inputs and these should be the sample output. So we will test these with our Python code and we will see that our output is matching with this or not. And these are the hints. Some hints are has been provided. Some of uh, some can be either positive or negative, but the absolute distance of the sum from zero should be considered to find the sum closest to zero. Assume that maximum possible sum of any two element in the list is 10 to power 9. Inbuilt sort may be helpful in this problem. Okay. So our first method is a simple one where uh, so we we are discussing so where we find sum of each element with every other element in the list and store it into the empty dictionary and finally we return the minimum sum element from the dictionary in a sorted tuple so algorithm uh, this is the algorithm defining a function first we define the function with parameter input list one and create an empty dictionary which will be used later to store key as an element and value as a sum check list validation so first we we also uh, check the valid validate the list if the list uh, length is greater than two then only it is a valid list because you cannot compute some less than two uh, length initialize so then we initialize two loops until and until the last element or length and calculate the sum of each iteration and for each iteration the sum element is calculated and we will convert into the absolute sum and we will store into the empty dictionary and then we sort all the dictionary item on the basis of values which will be short uh, with minimum sum values and then return uh, one key from the dictionary and sort element within key also convert them into the tuple and get the final output and time complexity is to the o n square for this method the another method by uh, where we are using uh, sorting algorithm of quick sort so first we sort all the element uh, elements from of the input list using the quick sort uh, algorithm so use two index variable uh, we use two index variable, left l for left and r for right to tra traverse from the left and right and respectively initialize l, l as zero index and r is the last index n minus one where n, n is the length of input list and then we use sum equal to input list l plus input list r so it will keep you know we use sum of two elements and if the sum is negative then we increment the left index by one and if sum is positive then we uh, decrement the right index by minus one and keep track of absolute minimum sum which we are storing there and we repeat these steps till the time the left uh, one is less than the right one so and the time complexity is complexity to sort and complexity to find optimal pair so o n log n and no, plus o n is o n log n so that's it next is the python implementation uh, so we 
uh, we did this coding and we check the input so python implement we define first the uh, function closest to zero which will take the one input parameter as a list and then we define some uh, empty dictionary here and then we check the in, uh, uh, input in, uh, whether it is a uh, valid or not so if length is less than two then it is an invalid input so there is no use so we will return nothing then we initialize two loops to calculate some so i and j which will uh, traversing throughout the list for two element and we keep some keeping all the some items and we add those values into the empty dictionary and empty dictionary will take a key pair as a you know elements of sum and value as a sum of uh, those element as absolute sum and then we saw uh, we uh, we we just sort the dictionary on the basis all the items on the basis of key value and then we return the tuple on the basis of sorted dictionary within the pair so and here we can you can see the data structure is used list dictionary and tuples and you can see these two are the test case one test case two and we have checked by calling those function and you can see the output is matching minus 5 comma 6 and minus 38 comma 34 so this is the method one we have implemented by using python code and the next one this method is this using sorting so here you can see this is the quick sort uh, algorithm uh, code which will help to uh, help to sort the list which was providing uh, with the quick sort method and uh, which is defined which will uh, uh, help uh, predefined method so in here after the quick sort uh, here the same uh, we will define a minimum sub pair and list one as an input where n is equal to length of the list sum uh, of equal to initially is zero minimum sum uh, which is 10 keep our nine so left equal to zero so these are the indexes so first index is at zero and right index is the last of the list n minus one minimum left equal to one and minimum right equal to n minus one if length of list less than two then it is an invalid input so there is no use of going ahead so if if it is valid then we apply we call the quick sort function with on on that list and with using this left and right uh, providing that and it will sort my list accordingly and then we utilize this while functionality till the time left uh, index is not less than right index then we keep assigning some value with list plus left index the, uh, these are the element uh, from which one from left and right and then we keep comparing if absolute sum one less than absolute minimum sum then then minimum sum equal to sum one and minimum left equal to left and minimum right equal to right so these are the values we are assigning so as we we see we discuss that if sum less than zero then we will increment left equal to left plus one as we will decrease decrease right right with by minus one right minus one all the indexes and it will return the list min left and list min right so these two elements will be the final output so here you can see uh, these are the sample test case one and two and we call the function for same list and we, you can see the output is matching so these were the final expected output and yes the, the, that's how we implement into the python so our conclusion comment both methods are working fine output is matching as expected there are other ways we can solve this problem uh, we can uh, we can find another ways so yeah and the, this video uh, recording explanation uh, you will be getting link here so you can check there and thank you for watching this video and hope you like it and thank you guys